Hi, and welcome to the session about enabling business continuity for your first line workforce with Microsoft Teams. My name is Zoe Hatoff, and I'm a product marketer. And I'm Scott Morrison, the GPM for first line. By the end of this session, you will learn how Microsoft Teams can help you and your first line workforce thrive in unpredictable working conditions, transform both in person and manual processes into digital ones, connect your teams while still adhering to socially distant protocols and foster positive culture and transparency during a time of disconnect. As our world looks to respond, recover, and reimagine the way it works, first-line workers and the IT teams who support them have proven to be both the essential workforce behind business continuity during times of crisis, and the force leading the charge to transform the way businesses work across many industries. They are the reason grocery stores have stayed open and transformed to accommodate curbside pickup the reason hospitals have kept running and evolved in-person health consults into virtual ones. And they're the reason manufacturing has continued creating essential products like face masks and transformed how they run their operations. We see our first line workforce and IT admins as the heroes of your business. And we'd like to talk about how teams can be the ultimate sidekick to your heroes. We were quick to understand that the virus could pose serious danger to our people. We need to operate 24-7. We had to do drastic things to continue our work. We changed from 8-hour shifts to 12-hour shifts in three days. We found ourselves in a weird place with this new pandemic. Communication has always been a challenge because there are so many different departments offering support to each other. It would literally take hours to get the person who has the answers I need. As a psychiatrist, it is of utmost importance, obviously, to have a human connection. When COVID happened, we don't do a lot of virtual visits. Protocols or working instructions would change by the day. The future of care is changed now. When we reached out to customers, to listen and learn about how you're recovering, responding, and reimagining in this new normal, we heard three macro challenges emerging. The first is that working conditions have become unpredictable. What was once a known factor of everyday life was overnight thrown into chaos. The second challenge we heard was this accelerated need to digitally transform now impossible processes that were once were manual or occurred in person. And finally, we heard this need for better communication, transparency, and ability to foster culture from corporate headquarters to first-line workers and within first-line teams on the ground. The right tools to help your team overcome these challenges is essential for keeping business running. With Microsoft Teams as your hub for communication and teamwork for your entire organization, we have tools built in to help you overcome the new challenges you face today. Tools that keep you agile during fluctuating work conditions. Tools that digitally transform manual and in-person processes put under pressure from restrictions and limitations. And tools that connect the entire workforce during a time when communication is no longer nice to have, but now essential. When we lean into that first challenge of working conditions becoming unpredictable, it seemed to have hit the whole world overnight. One day, employee shifts were consistent and locations were open, and the next day, companies left and right had to send their employees home without knowing when they would return and in what conditions. Not only were shifts and locations in flux, but employees themselves were, which put a lot of pressure on both managers and legacy onboarding processes to keep up. Let's hear how Telstra kept their business rolling with their new working conditions. The biggest changes for our business has been the way that we communicate things out to our technicians. The bushfires, the flooding, and now the pandemic has actually challenged us. Microsoft Teams has been really important to running our field services. It has really been a massive digital transformation for us to take old processes, old systems, uh, give them a great user experience and put them right into the hands of our technicians. We've automated and digitized around 70 processes. It's increased our efficiency dramatically. We can service our customers quicker. So you heard about how Teams is helping customers like Telstra. Now I'm going to show you what it actually looks like for their workers. 
Isaiah works as an operator in a manufacturing plant. And you can notice that the version of Teams that he has probably looks a little bit different than what you're used to. And the reason for that is his IT administrator is able to control his experience through policy packages. This is particularly helpful in onboarding a large amount of folks and dealing with the variability in who's working when. Additionally, Isaiah has all of the tools he needs at his fingertips, including his shift information. Ships allows Isaiah to know exactly when he needs to be working. And what's great is that as the schedules update, for instance, his plant switch from eight-hour shifts to 12-hour shifts, he has all of that information right at his fingertips, and he no longer has to go into the break room and look at the printed out schedule. This is particularly useful as things continue to change, and they're able to schedule him with a pod of other workers and be able to increase social distancing. He can see all of his shifts, but what's great about shifts is there's a workforce management built directly into shifts, but he also could be getting his information from whatever workforce management system his company uses, whether that be Kronos, Blue Yonder, or another tool. And anything that he makes as a change in shifts will reflect in that system of record. He can go into his shift and see all the details about where he needs to be throughout the day, including various activities. He also has access to who he's gonna be working with. So if he needs to reach out to them or just know what to expect, he's easily able to get to that information. Finally, the biggest thing that's beneficial about using shifts is it gives Isaiah a lot more control and flexibility in his schedule. As we all know, things can come up. And by allowing him to swap or offer his shifts with a colleague, he's actually able to make sure that that shift gets filled as opposed to simply calling in and making it his manager's problem. So for instance, if he wanted to swap this shift, he can pick Joni here and need to pick up kids, he's able to go ahead and request that that shift gets swapped with Joni. Now that he is ready to start his day, he's able to clock in. And just like shifts can be backed by the right workforce management tool, the time clock can actually also be backed by your time in attendance. And so he's able to clock in here. And what's great is that this time clock is geo-aware, meaning it knows he's actually in the plant and not clocking in from somewhere else. He can take breaks throughout the day and he can get back to his work. So the first thing that Isaiah checks when he's gotten to the plant is his task. And this is a great way that you can communicate with the prior shift. Tasks can come from those in the plant or they can come from other systems as well, whether those be IoT, where automated triggers create a task, or they can be sent from a central location out to all of the plants. Digging in to his tasks, he's easily able to see what's assigned to him and what he needs to handle for the day. And then for each of those, he can dig into that and get the detailed information. So here, he needs to check the line one machine for damage before his ship starts. And he has access to all that information, but can actually also add attachments of his own. So for instance, he can take a photo. And so he can take a picture of what that machine looks like and using the team smart camera can actually annotate directly on it if there's something that he's noticed. So he can attach that and then mark the task complete. In addition to being able to see the tasks that are just assigned to him, he can also look at the work orders across the entire plant in case there's something that's not picked up by anyone that he wants to go ahead and help out with. Finally, we have off-shift access, which means that when Isaiah's off-shift, opening up the Teams app will actually let him know that he's not going to be paid for this time. And this is incredibly important in terms of making sure that both labor laws are followed, but also that Isaiah has the right expectations and right experience if he has Teams installed on his personal device. He's able to easily accept that and go back to what he wanted to do. Because Isaiah remembered that he's got a vacation coming up and he wants to be able to request time off. Yet another way that he can get more control over his schedule 
is he can go ahead and put in a request for time off and give a reason if needed. He sends that to his manager, and just like that ship swap, the workforce management tool is able to weigh in on whether it's a valid swap, and then his manager is able to approve the final request. Switching over to his manager, Patty, she's able to see the shifts across the entire plant and make sure that they have the right folks doing the right jobs at the right time. She can see all of the information that she needs to make sure that everything is filled, as well as information if there's a conflict in the schedule. For instance, Alan here appears to be scheduled both as an operator and a technician, and she can easily go and update the schedule to fix those conflicts. Additionally, she has the ability to create open shifts where anyone who wants to pick up extra hours can ask for those open shifts. And assuming that it complies with what's in the workforce management system's rules, they can get those extra hours, further having more flexibility and meeting the business's needs to have every shift filled. She can easily copy the schedule for the next week, or the schedule can be created through the workforce management tool of choice. Additionally, Power Automate can now be used to further automate some of these tasks that Patty has to do on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it be managing certain approvals or it could even be exporting some of this data for reporting purposes that she might need to better understand how things are going. You saw those requests that Isaiah put in, and Patty easily has access to approving or denying those. And so she'll go ahead and give Isaiah the day off, but this shift swap seems to have a conflict, and so she's going to deny it. Now that she's got her shifts in order, she's able to go over and understand what is going on in the plant. And this is through tasks. She can easily see all of the tasks across all of the areas in her plant, either in this compact list view or through other views, such as boards, where they can get a more in-depth view of each task, including pictures that were attached or are relevant to the particular task at hand. She can see charts, and this includes all of the information about what is in progress, how things are going by area, what the priorities are, as well as who it's been assigned to. And finally, she can see all of the tasks on a calendar schedule. And as easily as dragging and dropping an item to a day, she can schedule that particular task. But she can also go one step further. She can make sure that she understands things, breaking it down by filters, for instance, if she just wants to see what is not picked up yet, she can filter it to unassigned. And actually that filter applies across all of the views. She can then quickly take all of these tasks and all in one action, assign those in bulk and give Isaiah these cleanliness tasks so that she knows that everything that needs to be done is taken care of. These are just a few of the ways that both workers and managers are able to deal with ever-changing conditions in terms of getting sure the right people are working and that they know exactly what they need to do to be effective when they're there. The next challenge arose from travel restrictions, capacity limitations, and more safety protocols around manual processes across all industries. Whether it was expert assistance in a manufacturing plant, store walks in a retail or consumer goods settings, or patients being able to visit their doctors, the processes that were once done on paper, in person, now couldn't happen anymore. And so the need to transform manual and in-person processes, things that would normally have changed and transformed over a two-year period, accelerated and seemed to need to be transformed in two weeks. Once transformed, companies were able to do and see things at a scale they never were able to before. Let's hear how St. Luke's changed their in-person patient consultations when faced with the need to quickly transform a service to really help their customers. For our patients in the COVID-19 pandemic, we didn't have the luxury of time. The teams really did help us keep up. When a virtual consultation was being set up, the doctor could just connect to Microsoft Teams in the room. This is about that one person in front of us people are able to connect with their medical team in a virtual environment. That's one of the great steps that we've made.
As Zoe mentioned, there's a variety of in-person processes that have been transformed by teams into things that are virtual. Let's take a look at one of those processes, such as virtual visits. Microsoft Teams is being used to digitize a myriad of previously in-person processes, such as virtual visits for healthcare. With bookings in Teams, the appointment scheduler can see multiple clinicians' outlook calendars, so it's easy to create appointments and manage complex scheduling demands. You can select the appointment type, patient info, appointment details, internal notes, and links to documents, and those will be included in the clinician's invitation. Customized appointment confirmations and reminders are automatically sent to the patient while maintaining the privacy of the sender's email address. With bookings, clinics can also offer patients the options to see available appointment times and schedule their own virtual visit. Patients can easily join their virtual appointment via a web browser or mobile app with just a single click or touch. And Teams provides a virtual lobby for patients to wait in before being admitted to the visit, and clinicians can make use of the great meetings features in Teams, including high-quality audio and video, custom backgrounds, and cloud recording. This empowers clinicians to offer secure virtual appointments and just one of the ways that we've seen teams extending these in-person processes beyond what they could do before. Companies have long realized that communicating and connecting with their first-line workforce has been a challenge, but the rapid response required to address COVID-19 has put a spotlight on that gap. The need to communicate best practices, new safety protocols, and important company-wide announcements no longer were nice to have, but essential. They also realize how important company culture is to make sure employees feel connected to the company and to each other in order to feel satisfied with their job. Within a first-line team, employees were also faced with new social distancing protocols that made connecting with each other more challenging throughout their everyday work. Let's see how Alcoa worked to foster better communication within their first-line worker team so everyone was informed. Alcoa is all about safety. We had to create new rules around cleaning between shifts. Teams is the communication tool we use to get internal messages across to all of our workforce. We created a special COVID-19 channel and we decided let's try to do a town hall online and record it so it will be accessible to everybody. We asked people to post videos or pictures and tell us what you're doing today, and people loved it. Teams was crucial in responding with COVID. I don't know how we would have done it without it, really. As you can see, communication and culture is more important now than ever. Let's take a look at a few of the ways that Teams helps all workers communicate and organizations curate their culture. Lydia works in the bakery department of a grocery store. And what she loves about Teams is it gives her all of the ways that she needs to get the information that helps her be effective at her job. Up top, she has all of the channels, including her stores channel, a learning community, and her department, which is the bakery, as well as the chats that she has with her colleagues. In these channels, she has the information she needs to get her job done, including the information from the daily standup that can happen in the morning and she can watch the recording of that even though she's in the night shift, as well as live events, such as this town hall with their CEO. This allows a live event where the CEO can talk with the entire company and then it's recorded and can be watched on demand as shift workers come in so that they always get the right message with the right culture directly from the source. Also, they're able to use praise to give each other pure recognition and really foster that sense of community when they're able to call out each other for doing something great. Sometimes though, the information that Lydia needs is not constrained within her store. And so while she should go to the bakery department, if she wants to talk to folks in her store, sometimes a question needs a broader audience, which is why she can switch over to communities and talk with all of the bakery associates across the entire company. This allows her to be able to find the experts in the organization who can get her answers to questions that might not be obvious. This is just another way that Lydia can talk both with folks locally as well as reaching out more broadly to everyone 
to get the information that she needs. Also, when she wants to send a message, it's not always obvious who is in on shift today. And so if she wanted to send a message to her manager, using the power of shifts, she's actually able to send a message, not to an individual's name, but to their role. And what she can do here is by tapping on this manager tag, it is aware of who the managers are who are on duty at this moment. And so now she knows that Adele and Christy are the ones who she can reach out to and can narrow that and have that conversation with Adele. She's able to send her a message. And if Adele needs to respond quickly, she's also able to elevate the importance of that message, making it an urgent message or important. If it's urgent, Adele will get notified every two minutes for 20 minutes until she responds. So if there's a customer incident or something that really needs manager assistance, she can send an urgent message and get that response. Also, she's able to look at the read receipts. You can see this little eye over here and know that Adele has seen her message so that she can expect a response. But sometimes chat isn't the right medium. Oftentimes, first line workers have to be heads up and hands free. Whether they're wearing gloves or talking with a customer, they wanna be able to have communications that allow them to have their hands free. And that's where walkie talkie comes in. This is using the exact same channels that you would use for chats, but it allows you to have long running audio conversations. And so it knows what the channels are that are used for walkie talkie and they suggest them to her. So she's able to pick her department bakery and then she just hits the connect button. And now she's able to quickly have a conversation with everyone in her department who's also on walkie talkie. What's amazing about this is unlike a two-way radio, she actually can see everyone who is currently listening as well as their status. So she knows if she should expect a response. And it also does not require her to have her phone on. Through various accessories such as wireless or wired headsets, as well as certain devices that have a dedicated push to talk button, she can actually have this phone off and locked in her pocket, but still continue that conversation. To speak with Deborah, all she has to do is press and hold or press the push to talk button and is able to reach out. Hey Deborah, can you come help me? I've got a customer who needs assistance. I'll be right there. Just like that. She's able to have that quick conversation and get the assistance that she needs. Whether it's walkie talkie, a call, a video call, or chats, Lydia has all the tools that she needs to communicate, not with just those in her store, but also with those across her entire organization. Meanwhile, at the home office, Danny's looking to create a town hall on safety. She can do this easily, by scheduling a live event. This allows her to have executives be able to speak with the entire company and have this recording be available on demand. She picks next Wednesday and as easily as that, she can choose whether to send it to the entire organization or just a specific people in groups. She can also decide that they should watch it through Teams. Once she schedules this, it's going to create the event and give her the link that she needs so that she can properly share it. Switching over to communities, she's going to go into the safety and community forum so that she can send out the information about this upcoming town hall. So she can share the link here and make sure that they all go and watch this event because safety is incredibly important to building the culture that they want their employees to be adopting. To further that, they've also built a custom praise badge that they want employees to be able to use when they see their colleagues exemplifying this value. So she'll go ahead and post that. And now it's time to upload that custom praise badge. Switching over, she's able to access the settings of Praise. And this allows her to add additional badges, ones that match the culture and values of her organization. She simply adds custom badge, calls it safety, 
and then is able to upload her own image. She picks for the text as well as the background. And just like that, she's able to get that badge out to her entire organization so that they can help move forward this cultural effort. These are just a few of the tools that Danny has at her disposal through Teams in both communicating with her organization and also driving forward the change in culture that they want to curate. With Microsoft Teams as your team sidekick, we want to empower the first-line workers and IT admins as the heroes of your company to keep business moving forward. Listen to how customers did just that. Whether it's manufacturing, PP and E masks, or ventilators, or medicine, we've all found a way to help change the world in a positive way. The foundations that we laid has really helped create that platform for crisis management, whether it be fires or floods, or obviously the most recent pandemic. Seeing those guys out there using the tools that have developed, and it makes you want to provide a better experience. Using Teams allows us to find the support we need from the coworkers we need it from, regardless of where they are. One of our core values is care for people. We really felt the responsibility of what we needed to do in order to protect our people. I mean, those are the heroes, definitely. Be sure to visit the virtual hub for more learning opportunities. And check out our first line and industry sessions to learn more. Thanks again for tuning in to listen to this session. Thanks everyone for watching.